Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of the Drift Games vlog. I'm keeping my voice down because we found a very secret location which has some of the coolest old school Toyotas I think probably in the world. Um, actually it's not that secret, they know we're coming, our cars are actually parked in there, we just had 10 minutes of a chat but I thought this would be quite a dramatic opener to the video. So let's go see what the boys here at Retro Autos have in store for us today. Alright so guys, you know that I picked up that A86, I won it in that competition, we haven't been doing anything with it for a while, but we are going to start work on it immediately. So we have got the two parts that we are going to paint on the car, so we have got a very nice good line front bumper, and Mike is going to grab the rear bumper, which we're also going to paint as well because it's kind of schultz instead of painted, so if we're going to paint it, we might as well take it somewhere uh, that knows a little bit about Corona and this place knows probably too much about Corona as Mike I'd say probably. Rest. And the rest. Yeah. So as you can see, they haven't had much experience painting Corollas or anything to do with Toyotas. Never done anything before. Anything before. So we said, look, do you know what? We give them a chance. And uh, no, don't worry, we're going to come back and look at all these cars in a few minutes. But we're going to bring in the bumpers. Mikey is actually going to work on the both of these, and we are going to get them ready for the Corolla when it's getting its transformation, which isn't for another couple of videos. So this is the first thing we're going to do, Mike, is this bumper, which is a good line front bumper for 11, which my car is, and we're going to do a white over black, same as the car. The rear bumper, the reason we're painting it is for two reasons. It was butchered that before us. <laughs> Number one is, this isn't really no, paint. No, it looks like it should. It's, it's really coming off. Yeah, yeah it's like, a, it's, it's just a horrible kind of fixture. And then these were drilled into it to make the UK spec yeah. likes, which we're now changing back to Jap spec. So that all has to be done. Yeah, it's it, 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 trust me, it doesn't sit flat like that. No. I've so that. Mike's going to get all that stuff done and we're going to then take the car down to Group D and do all the big transformation on the A86. But while we're here, we know you guys love old school cars and we have any amount of them here to talk about. So we're going to grab Paddy, who owns probably half of them, Majority. and we're going to talk you guys through them. This is an insane collection which rarely gets the light of day. It's always yeah. packed away in the shed, but we've got a little bit of sunlight left. We're going to go through them. Check this out. So this is Paddy, and Paddy owns a lot of very cool old Toyotas. Good to see you again. And we're going to start with one of our favorite cars in the whole country, world, universe. It's a show winner, award winner, track car, and one of the prettiest 86s I've ever seen. So Paddy, you're going to have to talk me through this start to finish because there's a lot, a lot going on here straight it's away. It's not a standard 86. No, no. there's a lot of custom work, custom arches, front and rear, custom extensions on the bumpers yeah, yeah. to blend in with the arches. So you yeah. guys have that policy here where you start with the wheels, buy your wheels, buy your wheels and then you build the car build around the, car, the wheels. You suit your wheels. And that pretty much looks spot on. That's like the opposite of you. You like buy wheels and then we to like get spacers to make it fit. It never works. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't like to make it too easy for you, Mike. <laughs> Before we get anywhere, we got we got to check this out. So this is a. Uh, this is just wow. Just wow. Yeah. So this is a Beams Yamaha Beams engine on independent throttle bodies and pretty much a wire tuck I would imagine at this yeah. stage because everything is kind of So this is left. as much wire as a good high they did. It's all in behind the wings. It is literally perfect and even braced chassis. Bits and bobs, like just, and then the paint color. What's what is the paint? Color? Probably a custom color. I know you're not going to say it, but not going to say a color without any. No, uh, it's a BMW color with, with, a, with a slate change. Yeah, ah. so, so it's all flake on top of the yeah, well, cover. The cover and inside the bonnet, it's all a flake as well. See, that's a touch now. Yeah. A lot of people wouldn't go to flake and inside of the bonnet, and even painting the beams in blue. Yeah, it looks like it's like a lovely flake. touch. So it's obviously, you painted the two colors and then just yeah, lacquered it with the flake. Enough. Yeah, that's cool. Everything's just shiny, and then obviously everything is very, very nicely put together, which is insane. What, what are these braces here, though? Like, so I know there's obviously a strut brace across, but then these are like kind of additional they're, braces. They're meant to go in on top where the cage is, but they won't go in where I have my cage and all in. So I just uh -huh. made it work that way. That's very cool. Before actually a coupe. So I get it. you. So you just put them straight back. Yeah, yeah. And what's this brace here with the seatbelt going down? That's another, right. another stiff no brace. Yeah, both sides. Mount in there. Mount in the back the seatbelt. That was for real. Oh yeah, I know that. I don't think I've ever seen one in the car. And then one behind the seat as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, look. She must be fair stiff. Yeah, She's fair stiff. Whenever, <laughs> <laughs> my harness is whenever I, whenever decide to. Yeah, go on just, track. 
just in case you need to strap in. <laughs> and then, so this is on what nabbies? What's the specs on the wheels? Uh, 15 by 10 minus 27. In the rear. Minus 27. And what tire are you running? 195. Oh, 195. <laughs> that's it actually fits. That's okay. I, there's going to be worse coming up here, yeah, bro. That's a nine day in the front. Minus 13. On all S13 front suspension. Kind of spread. Ah, so you put the Atenza engine in, but you also have all the Sylvia stuff on the front. Look at okay. more strut braces going on here. New York brace. They're always They're strutting your stuff, buddy, aren't they? That's a very fancy strut brace. Like, there's a lot going on there. I like the, I like the way it's just that blue. I'm telling blue. I feel like my car now is going to be like a, 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 a jelly cake or something now. Holy team, well done on the lead and all this as well. Engine bear, team, well done. So, essentially, this car is a nut and bolt straight up. Yeah. This yeah, is everything. This as a bare shell with nothing. So, this started as a bare shell, and how long to get to this point? I was five years, but. I would have done it in two and a half if I wasn't picking up other dogs. You started with this, then you got distracted Distract, with a load of other load cars, of and then yeah. you came back to this. Back to five, five years. Five later. years. Wow. Why did you move along? This video is the longest video in the world. I'll tell you why I moved along. because you have no idea how much that, stuff we have to get through. Who that owns that now inside? Paul. This is Paul's oh. car. Well. David. David. David's David. David's David. David's David. That's a very Irish thing. What's his name, Paul? Oh no, it's David. Believe it or not, that shell came in here and got reshelled into a new, another car the owners did. Okay. Because it was that battered up and it was left there. They didn't, they wasn't coming back, so I did not end up buying off. And then built it back up to a road and car yeah, again. Built it back up as a road car. It's a lovely road car. Yeah. It's amazing right. how... It's I, I, money in as well. Yeah, but with the thing about with A86s is, is, like, there's so many directions you can go. Like, they're pretty much started as exactly the same car. Pop the bonnet there. Uh, Twenty valve This is the more conventional approach. Ah yes. So you got a twenty valve, independent throttle bodies, manifold, ECU, everything. Fully seen well the Same thing again, the shop races like the own. Here's the ones in there. Oh yes, again. Ah. Very nice. Dave yours has none of this, yeah. The level of work you have to go through from start to finish here yeah. is insane, like because you're leaving very little of the car untouched. Basically, you know, that's yeah. basically, it's all, you guys know them so well, so you can just take them all apart, put them back together. Easier with an 80s car, I suppose, than a modern car, but I just love the fact that you've got such a different direction with two cars that started exactly the same. Like these both cars were two 86s, you know, 16 valves, and then one goes 20 valve independent drivers, one goes Yamaha beams, different colors, different wheels, different setups. There's such a range of things you can do with them. It's amazing to see two in that condition yeah. as well at, in this day and age. Like, like they're two show cars, they were saying, really missing, let's be honest. And you know what? It's not the only ones we're going to see because we are going to see some more old school Toyotas and they're even more ridiculous. And I have to get you to talk me through these because some of these models I've never seen before. Like, I thought this was an Opel at one point because I was like, no, it's not an Opel. This one, still one of my favorites. Yeah. KE. That's Columns KE. Beautiful car. And like, it's it's kind of like it's a show car pretty much but it's also a track car as well track there yeah she's actually waiting on an engine at the minute ah so she's from the last track from the last track there he blew her up <laughs> yeah as i say show cars don't blow up uh, sh uh, engines track cars blow up engines ah that's so, where the engine was open to interpretation see that <laughs> this is what he loved oh look well, at the flake the flake, flake in here well. now this video mm. mad on this one he did yeah. Yeah. what i just noticed here is mike because we were talking about wheel balancing the other day and i was like it's mad how some of the wheel balancing on these old school have to go on the outside. Have to go on the outside of the wheel because that's just where they have, right. have to go. It's just mad. Later that you put it inside the tire. Like. <laughs> yeah, it's just, that's why I say it's strange. <laughs> that is a lovely, lovely car. Now this is another one of your cars. Yeah. As again, again, uh, I, I had no idea what it was. It is a. It's a Datsun C31 Laurel. That's what I thought. Um, or an Opel, which I first thought it was. It kind of had an Opel front. Like a Volvo. Reason. Once they have these, <laughs> I prefer them as a Volvo. But I love the old, school, <laughs> the old school wipers, the old school mirrors, and this is from what year? It's an '84. 1984, yeah. And this uh, is talk us through the story of this car. Where does it come from? <sighs> Seen on Dundee one night and just met an offer and ended up buying it. And it was the biggest hen house I ever bought. <laughs> Drove like it was on Cut Springs with 70 mil wheel spacers on it. It just drove really bad. Cut Springs 70 mil wheel spacers. Don't do it, kids. And Never. <laughs> A, first. And a steering box that was like before the wheels blew out. Yeah, <laughs> like you know those remote control boats you have at the pond. You just yeah. spin it, and sometimes so it turns. And straight something. away, 
S13 suspension in front of it. Uh, adjustable tension rods, adjustable bottom arms, co hubs. That's a lot. And what engine's in this one? We interrupt this video to give a very special shout out to one of our partners here at Drift Games, Mobile One Oil. Mobile One Oil is used by some of the best drifters in the game, such as these guys. As you can see, even I made the cut into the best drivers in the game. What? So yeah, Mobile One is used by the best drifters in the world, and me. Uh, RB25, NA. What? NA? Yeah. Is that, that's not standard though, right? That's yeah. a, a transfer? Uh, yeah, it, it is transfer. Yeah, it was a 2.4 carb standard, which was a pig and petrol. I haven't seen an Orbi 25 NA in a very long time. I didn't know it existed. That's so, the awesome third one. Well, that's my second one. It's the first one, this is what the plan. Did you paint all the inside of the engine bay? Yeah, the plan was to paint all outside the car. This colour at some stage, but it's clean really enough nice. for the minute. I actually thought that there was going to be nothing impressive under here, and now I'm like, hold on a minute. There's a full Orbi 25 in here, NA. And the NA is nice because it's not too much power, too much hassle. I'd like to see I, this on a track. I'd love to put individual throttle bodies on it. Yeah. At some stage, that's what my plan is, but so I guess I track the other stuff. So. Yeah, the point is, we can't. We're seeing a theme here. It's almost like we're looking at his cars and it's a little bit of therapy along the way as well. You've got a lot going on here. That, and again, yeah. you're trying to throw parts at so many different so things. Many different jobs, you're yeah. doing a bit as you go. But and that, they're not standard things. Like, no. sure, find the parts. Not, at it's trying to find, yeah, yeah, trying to find bits. Like, you could be looking for something for six months before yeah. you find that. And and you could be looking simple. for something completely different when you find this other part. I, for another <laughs> car. Yeah, 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 so you're yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. There's one thing here that's just beyond recognition is the gear knob. I think we're going to have to take a good close look at this, I Josh. I, I honestly want to buy it off you. How much are you offering? I look at this! <laughs> Snake from The Simpsons wouldn't have this. Is it comfortable to you? I don't know, I've never drove it yet. <laughs> I, I've never seen a hydraulic handbrake behind a snake uh, gear knob before and then a starter button beside it. So that is <laughs> and the seat covers. And as the seat covers look like a Japanese taxi. So I, that is a mix, mix of, a mix uh, of everything that's there. Style and some deffy gauges and a, a wood wheel. There's enough going on in there now that you could spend quite a while going. I have no idea you what. You had to see yesterday, yeah. there was wires everywhere. Oh, really? I only put the gauges in last night. That so I do, cool. I do, I'm doing bits and pieces with them all, like, I was only waiting and engaged to come. Right, we're going to move in, in order here because you get distracted, we'll get distracted. So this is a Toyota Cressida. This one I really like. I don't know what it is about the shape of the car, but I think it looks absolutely... This it one looks, looks like... It was imported yeah, from really Australia a little over two years ago. I know it was. So this is an Australian import, an 88 Cressida. Comes with what engine is standard? 5M. 5M. Which is a 2.8 injection. Nothing fancy. I've yeah. done nothing with this. Basically, only done suspension and wheels. So it's just a. Uh, it looks good, but yeah. it needs more. It needs, it needs. It does actually need a paint job and stuff. But but I like the rough and ready not, look of it. It's like. not broke. I'm not fixing it. Yeah. Look at that. So, that yeah. So obviously this is the Austin Power spec. <laughs> with the uh, the, sh the carpet on that. There's it's a lot of orange going on in here and brown. It was automatic when I bought it. I've done a W fifty eight conversion of it. So what you said was you just put wheels and suspension on and a manual conversion, yeah, which you just forgot about. Yeah, forgot about that, fair enough. And then, obviously, this is another very retro interior. And this is a car of 310,000 kilometers. Yeah. <laughs> that's been like, that's like, you might as well have driven it back from Australia and then back again. That has a lot of mileage, but I suppose it's an 88. Funky it? interior. Very cool interior. I love the interior. I like the color. I love, do you know what it is? This is very, very old school. It looks like an old school American car. Yeah. Inside, and then on the outside, it looks like an old school JDM car. So that's really, really cool. 15 by 10 long jumps in the front, 15 by 10. So 15 by 10 is in the front? Yeah. That is a bit ridiculous. Uh, and what sort of tire is this? 195 50. There's a team, they're all 195 tires. <laughs> Do you have a rule with 195 on every rim? So 195 on a 10. Just the one to go. 195 on a 10. We yeah. Look at the. Apparently, she's on 11, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to get worse uh, before it gets better around here. So next up, we have got, again, I don't know, something. That's a GS120 Crown. Crown. 1986. Yeah. Oh, oh, that is falling. <laughs> That's unusual, isn't it? That's very cool. It's that like is. a BMW. Uh, like with the funky interior, another funky interior. Oh. You know, someone was specking this, and they went like, "I'll oh, just give me the brown and maroon there if you have it." It's like it has what? a cool, cooler box in the back window. What? It what? Works. Oh, ah, oh, that's chilled. 
And then so you get your beer out of your cooler box. That is very And you just they kick back. It actually worked. It worked. It all runs through the aircon, I think. How come modern cars don't even have any of this? I bought it a year ago. I've done nothing with my deck because I've been busy with other stuff. Yeah, don't slam it. Just about to say. Because it took me about two weeks to open it. <laughs> 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 Hence why the door card left. I see. We're, we're figuring it out. We're figuring it out. Yeah. Right, so, so this is the latest one this, that you've yeah, just this finished. Is, is, I, this is the latest one. And then I was supposed to go to this one. But this one, I'm actually looking forward to seeing where it goes. Yeah. This has so much potential. With this yet, but I bought 50 where you're going is it me and Mike in the back with a can and yeah. the cooler box <laughs> and a recline. So let's get to this ridiculous, another ridiculous car. So this is a. This is a. I'm uh, gonna go. I was gonna say KE Panavan, but I'm like, it's not KE Panavan, is it? It's a. Hang on. Hang on, just chassis <laughs> number. Yeah, it's an RX60. An RX60. Proceeder. Ah, so I was wrong on all fronts there. Wrong car, wrong chassis number. I've never seen one of these before. I've never seen a car like that before. Obviously, I haven't seen too many on wheels like that either. But so this is a. Did this come as a an estate car? This car was an estate. So is that it was as it was. Where did this one come from? I bought this down in Wexford off a chap that had it stripped, ready to do metal work, and it was just too much from, and I ended up buying it. As so it. you said hardship. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. So lovely. I said I always wanted one, so I ended up buying it. This I have to say. I love the colour, but the wheels are ridiculous. And the colour is the original, paint color, not like, the car. Oh, that's actually, that was oh, the colour it was. Look at the pudding, <laughs> they're sitting in it like. It's got its own private hot tub and everyone's invited. It's <laughs> unreal. Uh, what are the specs of the wheels? Because I think these might be more ridiculous. They're then. ridiculous. Fronts are 15 by 9 and a half, minus 27, I think, or something like that. And the backs are 15 by 11, minus 40. 11? Yeah. Don't tell me there's a 195. 195. Oh, <laughs> How do you even get a 195 on 11? You must look at a speed bump in that tire. It's not even on the wheel. Don't touch that in case your finger gets blown away with it. What is that? 100%. I use 15 by 10 I'm not going to name, name names, but I was at a drift event where a lad said he couldn't get an 18 inch Westlake 265 on an 11 rim. Yeah. Hold, let me take a photo of this, and every time I get a question, I go, I'll tell you what now. You know what now? I know a lad that put a 195. Three people asked us. 195 and an 11. That is... And it can't really fit in here, tell you The wheels weren't meant to go in this car. He bit the arse for a 195. And I feel it. like this one was... You got the wheels first, then the car, because <laughs> this one is ridiculous. Did you build these arches now for these wheels? Or I built them arches for different wheels. And I went to put them wheels... That the is probably the most... And it didn't fit. Ridiculous yeah. setup of a wheel on the rear of a car I've ever seen. Because the tyre does clear the arch there, but... There's still the tyre. The tyre has no relation to the edge of the rim at all. It's Look at that! Not a bother on it! And it clears and no, it doesn't even touch. <laughs> that is ridiculous. This car is, look, and you know what? The interior is actually really nice in this. Like really clean. And kind of, well it's not, it's not maroon for once, which is a big change. I don't like that now, I like maroon. I, I like the interior. Not touched yet. That is, but it's very clean for its age, isn't it? Yeah, considering it was all in boxes. <laughs> But like it's not, there's no cracks in the dash, there's no... No, it's like, there's only 98,000 miles on it. I mean, I was putting it back together. I found the eBay sales 10 years ago or something. It's automatic petrol and everything. Yeah. Wow. Oh, so that's what it looked like. Yeah. You see, the thing is, right? They don't look like... That. I'm just about to say, if you were on eBay, and I was on eBay, you'd go by... Mm. But you have to see the vision yeah. of what you can make it. And that's a very boring car. And this is now not a very boring car. This is a show sealer, this is. Like that does no. look like a car you just go. Mm. Yeah, you wouldn't look twice at it. It's 1.8 automatic, but you manually convert manually, it. Manually, You're yeah. just doing this every day, just, just, just in your spare day. Just like, manually job convert job. everything. He's a full time job yeah. as well. I was going to say, yeah. but manually converting everything that moves along. Yeah, well, that's the guy manual as well. I've and is it a difficult job? You like to change job? gears, do you? Yeah, I like to be a kid's foot. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad. It's not too big, I mean, you have all the stuff like. See, so you've done them that much now, you're probably. Getting into a swing. No, that's 13 front end as well. Is it? Yeah. Going to a pass. brakes. All in the front of this. So there's a full S13 suspension as well. Yeah. See, that must make them handle quite well. Yeah, well. Or at least you can get the bits for it. You can get bits for it and get it looking well. I don't yeah. know how it's going to drive yet because they haven't struggled. But, uh, that is absolutely. AA6 and uh, rear Kylovers in the back of it. Uh, close, the, close the one there, mate. I have to have a look at this. Don't slam just, Don't slam just very don't carefully. Carefully, yeah. yeah, that'll do. Walking away. Walk away. That's a very cool looking car. Like, yeah. The chin spoiler and 
you're probably there. Because this video is going to be quite long, but I think everyone's enjoying it right now, we're just going to do a quick sweep inside as well because you'd think this would be the end of the video going, oh, I've seen enough today. People are sitting at home going, oh, that's enough for me. Thanks, thanks, lads. I'll just move on to the next video on YouTube. And then we go, no, no, there's more actually in here. Okay, so this is definitely going to be a fan favorite, this starlet. This is now at the moment getting ceramic coated. Uh, Paddy was saying, Paddy, this is on a standard engine, but that's about it. It's got the same thing again, big white wheels, fender mirrors, stockish, but very clean interior. So no, clean. It's a, list, it's a full litty interior. What's that? It's rare. Really rare? <laughs> <It's> rare. <laughs> Simple as. <laughs> that is a very weird interior. This is the, this is the girlfriend's car. This is like, I've never seen an interior like that before. And it's another very clean car. See the back parts? Look at the size of the spoiler. Like, I like doing metal fabrications. That is like... That's steel. You don't bite, you just make your own spoiler. Yeah, like, we, we can have yeah. our dinner on. Oh, right, I've had it. have had dinner on that. Custom back arches, custom it's front arches. Cool. So you got on Brian it. on the back. Yeah. No, no. And then no bumper on the back. No bumper. Actually, that's really good. Cool. All, all the seal, you know. All the chrome looks cool on it, doesn't it? So much chrome, like, it just looks very nice. Very I'm not good. sure what I asked for. What size is uh, 195? Uh, 1A5, I think. Oh, right? sorry. <laughs> yeah, 1A560 on a 9.5 jack. I'm kind of like blown, my mind is blown now, I'm still moving. That thing has That's some a K saloon, I know that one. That one has some size. Yeah, that's the longest car I've ever owned it. And that had nine years now, I think. So it's oh, a completely stock standard of 47,000 miles. Bought off of one owner in the UK, full history, all that way. And it's never been painted or well the arches were blue in since I flared them, but I never done a full restaurant and like so just it's, it's, it's a tractor car. It's, it's a tractor car though, it's the same thing. Uh, this is on track days, it's got a yeah, she's, valve. she's had a hard old seven or eight years. <laughs> 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 so even one device now is why I'm driving this now at A6 Fest in what September. What's going on with the with the Leave. With the cover, no, the oh, that's Vinny's uh, finest marbleizing. That's what um, we used to do in college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we him. might have tried it on Josh's back shelf as well with the stickers. Yeah. It looks like Ma you know fire lighters. Yeah, it looks. Like that's that. what it looks like now. Yeah, it's very cool. It's, a cool. it's like a marble design. I didn't say it wouldn't be the cleanest bed, but it's it's functional. It's functional. It works. It runs. It drives. It has fun. And well, then we have a new starlet. Two years '96. I thought. Yeah, all strong. Another starlet, like another one. Just, just, just it's literally a standard just car. Just a standard With car. Full AA6 front coilovers and rear coilovers. AA6 front brakes. Other than that, it's standard. We have another, I don't know what this is. Is That's this a, a Crusader? Like, believe it or not, it's another RS60 Crusader, the same as the estate. Ah, but it's yeah. the saloon version. Oh, right. yes. So you both the saloon and yeah. the estate. Uh, I started. I have. All, I started on this one first, putting all S13 stuff in it. I have it all done, but I'm waiting on tail lights to come from New Zealand with a lot of glass I bought. So I kind of put it on hold. Yeah. And putting in 2J in this, and a 2J. That would be nice. With a J160 manual box and all. It's crazy. And before we finish up this video, I want to show you the sort of where they come from area, which is pretty cool. Everyone goes, such nice cars. And then you go over here and you go, ah, they start out. Start out bro. They start out rough. So these are all. These are, there's a K70 two door van with a Mercedes C250 turbo diesel. Modern Mercedes diesel in an old yeah. So all of this area here is sort of parts. It's kind of fab area. I just say look, all the kind of dishes for the wheels. All dishes off. Since we, and you kind of make up the oh, wheels yeah. for spec there. All the wheels are in this wheel. All my spares. It's the gold mine. <laughs> The size of that. Oh God. No, it's just Tim. <laughs> <laughs> so would your car have been like, come from something like this to what it is now? No, the Twingham didn't. But I've had a panel van, a grey one like, like this before. And yeah, it, did, it was like this. It's a lot of work. Lot like of a lot of people would say that's fairly gone. And it's amazing yeah. what you can bring a car back to. It, it's, it's resurrection is what it is. And then I suppose when they're resurrected right, they're worth something. Paddy, thanks for showing us around the place. It's just, it? it's a mine. Another one of mine. <laughs> Paddy, Paddy. stop buying cars, man. Stop, stop buying cars. Paddy, man. How you, you and Dave, I may check what is in somewhere. I mean, just to like, I, I feel like I feel like we could just keep. I'm, I'm looking out into the, even the yard now, and I'm going. Hold on, is that another? Yeah, there's another. <laughs> I think it'd be rude not to go to that. Let's one, go actually. to. Let's go, I want to go. Do you know what I actually want to look at? Is the RX Turkey Crusader that I want to restore. 
Yeah. You want to what? I like. F <laughs> <laughs> no. I was like, what? No. what where do you start? No, that's a, that's just a parts car. What's happened here? Look at this. It's like someone went to open the door and their hands went through it. <laughs> just no, punched it. Through. Back away. The boot is filling in it. And the transport home. Oh, the car's falling in half. <laughs> Look at this. There's a spider web holding it together almost. Look at that. Well, the horses are coming for a look. Yeah. There's a good hitch on it, though. Yeah. There's actually more horsepower there than there is ever going to be here, to be fair. Hey, there's Archie. <laughs> Hello. You know what? I, I'm going to finish this video with a very apt phrase. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Comment below. And we thought we'd come here and find a few unicorns. And uh, we actually did find a unicorn in the end. And a couple of Toyotas and uh, some horses. We hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's a really long one, but it's amazing to come down here. If you want us to come back in a couple of months' time and check out what they're doing and how the progress has gone in these cars, let us know. We love coming down here. We hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell on, and we'll see you on the next one.